Welcome back to my channel. Today we will see how to install ESET Node 32 antivirus on System D Linux based distribution like Ubuntu, Debian, Arch, and Solis. In this tutorial, we will use Solis OS distribution. So, why you need an antivirus on a Linux system? You will need an antivirus on Linux system in two cases. The first one, when you use a Windows compatibility program on Linux. And the second case is you share file with, with a Windows system, like the case of dear booting with Windows system. So, first, we need to download the ESET for Linux and make the file executable. You can download the file from the ESET official site. To make the file executable, right click on the downloaded file, go to properties and then permissions and allow executing file as program. Then to run the installer, double click it or run it from the terminal. It will ask for the password, so type your root password. And the installer setup start. Click next. And then next. Accept the terms in this agreement. I choose typical recommended yes. And next, enable detection of potentially unwanted application and click next. After it will not take a long time. And yes, the installation completed. Of course, you need to restart the system. So, see you after the system restart. Now let's try to, to run it and nothing happened. So let's fix it. Open a new terminal window. Then navigate to the systemd service directory and choose one of the command line to create an ESET service file. Choose the command line depending on your system.
now we will use nano as the text editor to create the eset service file by using the following command line and add the following content to the file Save your change Start the new created ESET service by using the following command line and yes the antivirus starts then enable the new created service to make the antivirus start automatically after booting up by using the following command line As you know, the ESET antivirus for Linux is a commercial antivirus. So, of course, you need to activate the antivirus. After activating the antivirus, don't forget to update the Signature database. Thank you for your watching. I hope that I help you.